Hi, so I've actually had a video of some small devices that I have and this one actually showed up in it. Uh, but I didn't bother to do a review on it because I showed quite a lot of small things back then, so just one. This is the MoQ uh, Bluetooth control of smartphones. And today I'm actually going to do a review about it because it's been a little more than a year since I've got it. So let's have a look at it. So here's how it will work. I'll get my smartphone out. The uh, first time I used it I had to pair it up with the smartphone. In uh, settings, networks and connections. Bluetooth. And there it is. Uh, I should do a different one, a uh, different mode for my old smartphone than I do right now for my new one. Uh, this apparently couldn't recognise the mode. I was power up. Officially intended for smartphones, yeah, I do recognise it when I do power right, which is for PCs. Uh, Then I take the smartphone out of this case and put in the holder here. And then I hold down the power button until that little light turns on, the blue one, as I show it to you. It's that one. And the controller. It's now completely paired up in the game launcher. I'm going to pick a game. And this is have a really, really quick look at playing it. Play. And see the controls feel very nice here. Got our full set of them. Like the D-pad, the analog stick, the start, select, X, A, B and Y, two joysticks, and the back, the triggers and the bumpers. Apparently, these triggers are not analog, so they only detect if they're pressed or not. I haven't done much testing in that. So I've got a very simple game, uh, Space Invaders, so... Start. Start. Ah, okay. Sometimes it doesn't register. The start button. There it is. Very well. Uh, yeah, I was uh, hit right there. Um, oh, uh, I was hit once there, but this just feels so much better to me than, you know, playing with the touch controls. And let's try again after this. Advertisement has stopped. There we go. Uh, okay. Try that. Out. Hi. Um. Like in real life, this would have been much better than just using on-screen control for my hand always covered up the. Uh, Thing, but now I'm actually looking through this uh, camera, which doesn't give an eyes image of what I'm actually doing. So, excuse me, uh, I have played this game for quite some time. Uh, okay, oh, it's going pretty well actually. Now. Looking at the phone. And this is my last. It's 
still game over. And exit. Is someone actually going to save and close over that? Let's. And then to turn off the control, you hold down this button here, the power button, and it turns off. So you just really have a nice uh, gripping and all buttons are really easily accessible from this position. Uh, the only problem I've had sometimes was that with a joystick, uh, sometimes it just gets stuck at the top, this, this one here. Uh, but that's pretty easy to solve. And uh, I don't exactly know how long this controller lasts on a battery, but charging it up is very simple, just a micro use. Be careful that goes. Right there. And yeah, there isn't much else to say about this controller uh, except for how much it costs. I don't know exactly how much it costs uh, when you buy it yourself. For me, this will actually cost zero euro uh, because I had a gift uh, at a birthday party uh, last year. Uh, when I became 17, <laughs> oh, it's just a very memorable moment. Uh, anyway, see you next time. Bye! I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.